Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Take Script Gaming. We are back for some more Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last time, we got attacked by bandits, and we were lucky enough to help out some students. Will we see those students ever again? Probably not. You know, it doesn't happen. We're just mercenaries. We're not going to see them again. But here we go. We left off with this dude who was going to protect the students, but wasn't there. Great job. All right. Captain Gerald, it is you. Goodness, it's been Don't ages. Don't you recognize me? It's Alois, your old right-hand man. Well, that's how I always thought of myself anyway. Alois? Is that how you say his name? Alois? Oh, it must have been 20 years ago that you went missing without a trace. I always knew you were still alive. You Where's haven't you? changed a bit, Alois. Just as loud as ever. And drop that captain nonsense. I'm not your captain anymore. Who's a captain, huh? These days, I'm just a wandering mercenary. One who has work to do. Uh, goodbye, old friend. We can auto advance? Right. Let's do that. Goodbye, captain. Wait, you got, like, that a normal feel to it. Ends. I insist that you return to the monastery with me. Gary this is really how monastery. <sighs> I suppose this was inevitable. And how about you, kid? Are you the captain's child? Hmm. He's a stranger to me. Oof. Cold shoulder. I'm a bandit. Okay, that is correct. It's us. Is that so? Well, yeah. physical differences aside, your mannerisms do remind me of the captain. I'd love for you to see the monastery, too. You will join me, won't you? What's troubling you, Captain? You aren't yeah. about to run off again, are you? Even I wouldn't dare run from the Knights of Saros. Oof. Knights of Saros? They do seem rather skilled. So I can just hear stuff this now? Ah, it seems your presence is required. Get going. <laughs> okay. I didn't think that was gonna be our reasoning for going to the monastery, but all right. I'll, I appreciate I'll take your it. help back there. Your skill is beyond question. You're clearly an experienced mercenary, and your father—that would be Gerald, the blade breaker, former captain Duh. of the Knights of Saros, oft praised as the strongest knight to ever live. Have I missed anything? Oh, so that's your little deal. That you're a nerd. I didn't know he was a captain. Knight of Zeros. See, either way, I just sound dumb, which I guess like I am. I don't know. You haven't heard of the Knights of Saros? the most famous order of knights in all of Fodland. Hey, you nope. are coming with us to the monastery, right? Of course you are. I'd love to bend your ear as we travel. Oh, I should mention bend that the ear. three of us are students of the Officers Academy at Garigmok Monastery. We were doing some training exercises when those bandits attacked. I definitely got the worst of it. That would be because Ow. you ran off. Too true. Oof. I was the first to make a strategic retreat. Everything would have worked out if these two hadn't followed me and ruined everything. Because of wow. that, every what single one of those bandits chased after us. Utterly ridiculous. Ah, so that's Stupid. what you were thinking, Claude. And here I thought you were acting as a decoy for the sake of us all. His intentions were as clear as day. You will prove a lacking ruler if you cannot see the truth behind a person's words. <laughs> you will prove a lacking ruler yourself if you look for deceit behind every word and fail to trust those whom you rely on. Oh, true joy. and true. A royal debate between their highnesses. I wonder how being completely predictable affects one's ability to wield power. Personally, as the embodiment of distrust, I'd say your little exchange smacks of naivete. Me, naive. Tell me. Are you actually incapable of keeping quiet, or is your lack of self-awareness a condition of some sort? In any case, oh forgive gosh. our digression. I must speak with you if you can spare a moment. The way you held your ground against the bandit's leader was captivating. You never lost control of the situation. It showed me I still have much to learn. Technically, I did. Your skill Technically, is precisely I died, but you why I must it. ask you to Don't consider lending it. your services to the Empire. I might as well tell you now. I am no mere student. I am also the Adrestian Empire's... Halt, Edelgard. 
Please allow me to finish my own proposition. The Holy Kingdom of Fargus is in dire need of exceptional individuals like yourself. Please, do consider returning to the kingdom with me. Whoa, One encounter. There. You two sure are hasty. Trying to recruit someone you just met. <laughs> Tactless, really. I was personally planning to develop a deep and lasting friendship on our journey back to the monastery before begging for favors. But it seems there's no Gosh. time for niceties in this world. So, capable stranger, let's get right to it. Where does your allegiance lie? Hmm. Wow. It seems one's place of birth is quite significant to them. Yet they are so impressed by you that you may take your pick. Well. Alright, well, you see how this goes. Pokemon, you know, you know. Choose my starter. Let's let's pick our starter here. <laughs> it's literally how it goes down. So weird. Um, so we got the Empire. No knights. So who am I going to pick? Ed Edelgard. Uh, Dimitri. Or Claude. I'm going to be honest. I was already sold on Claude for so long ago. Just the simple fact that he is an archer boy. Favorite, favorite unit. So, that alone. His carefreeness. I was... I've been a Claude fan, fanboy for a long time, so uh, that's what we're doing. Um, I feel like if I was actually in this situation in real life, I don't think I would have picked. Be like, hey, yeah, I will pledge my allegiance with you or whatever. It would have been more like made sense if it's like, whoa, 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 easy. Let's let's just hold off for a bit. But we're picking now, so let's uh, do it. Is that right? Let's do well, this, Claude. That's a win for the alliance, so I suppose I'm obligated to be happy. Hoop, All hoop, right, hoop, that's hoop. enough with the small talk. It's time to head back to the monastery. Looks like we'll have to pick this up another time. Yeah, I would have figured like My another time would be in such a it, hurry. This works. You know, each of the three is most unique. You tell me that now. I didn't know that. What? I have to save one of them. Will that up there like deal again? Honestly. I'm liking Dimitri as I'm hearing from. I was expecting him to be more like cocky and kind of a jerk, kind of like smug. But he seems like actually really nice, like a kind dude. So that's really cool, but it's too close. Whoa, 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 easy there, easy there. But the smile doesn't reach his eyes. What the heck? Okay, we're just seeing a little bit what we're thinking of them. She's a refined young woman. I feel as though she's always evaluating me. Why didn't we have this before? Before we picked, this would have made sense. Seems quite sincere, but I sense dark, darkness lurking, lurking beneath. What the? No, you do not sense that. That is no yes, fake, I fake. You same. don't sense it. Oh, I'm so sleepy. Was here. Oh, I you don't sleepy. sense any darkness from him. Fine. It's all good. Ah. Yes. Cool. We are saving. Man, this looks pretty. Point White one. clouds, great tree. White clouds, great tree moon. Three houses. All right. What is that voice actor? Whoa. Okay, we were back. And the verdant fields once again spring to life across Fodland, heralding the start of a new year. Pretty. As they celebrate the dawning year, the people pray that they may realize their full potential, just as a tiny sprout hopes to one day grow into a great tree. Right. The continent of Fodlan, said to be protected by a revered goddess, has existed since time immemorial. Three ruling powers now control the land. In the south lies a region long held by a more than 1,000-year-old dynasty, the Adrestian Empire. Beyond its borders, to the frigid north, is the home of the Holy Kingdom of Fargus, ruled by the royal family and its knights. To the east 
A league of nobles that heeds no king nor emperor rules what is called the Leicester Alliance. Yeah. Once consumed by a tempest of war and turmoil, Fodland and these three mighty powers now exist in relative harmony. Cool. This will be your first time at the monastery. I'd be happy to show you around. It really is Fodlin in a nutshell. The good and the bad. Like it or not, we'll be there soon enough. See, a lot of that like background information given, I, I felt like that would have been way better to give, which technically we were give there it is. before the game came out, Garrick but Mock Monastery. it would have made sense to give all that before picking which character, but this is what it is. It's all semantics. Ooh, what is this? I will be honest, I am pumped for the monastery aspect. I am pumped. Who is this dude? Alright. Okay, we are, we've already seen clips of this. From like trailers. trust her. I don't. She's sketchy. She freaks me out. I wonder, did the flow of time bring you here? <laughs> All right. Sure. Oh, it's man, been we're here. years since I've last set eyes on this place. To be forced to see her now, uh, You've been here before, or her? We say her. You saw her in the courtyard earlier, didn't you? The Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Lady Rhea? As you know, the majority of folks in Fodlin are devout followers of the teachings of Seros. The leader of that ridiculously large religious organization is the Archbishop, Lady Rhea. Thank you for your patience, Jeff. My name is Setic. I am an advisor to the Archbishop. Right. Hello. Hey. It has been a long time, Gerald. I wonder, was it the will of the goddess that we have another chance meeting like this? Forgive my silence all these years. Much has happened since we last spoke. Uh-huh, sure. So I see. The miracle of fatherhood has blessed you. That is your child, is it not? Yes. Born many years after I left this place. Wish I could introduce you to the mother of my child. But I'm afraid we lost her to illness. I see. Mm. My condolences. Lame. As for you, I heard of your valiant efforts from Alois. What is your name? My name is... Or... I could be the cool silent type, or I'll, I'll do that. A fine name indeed. From the bottom of my heart, I thank you for saving those students of the Officer's Academy. Of course. Hmm. Gerald, you already know what it is I wish to say, do you not? You want me to rejoin the Knights of Seros, don't you? I won't say no, but... Your apprehension stings. I had expected that Alois would have already asked this of you. I must step away for now. But I expect they will desire a word with you soon. Please listen carefully to what they have to say. Until tomorrow, farewell. I don't trust her. I really don't. Wait, is that even the same check? <sighs> I, I feel like that's the same check. Force back into the night. I could be wrong. Uh, I'm sorry I dragged you into this. Looks like I'll be stuck here for a while. And I'm afraid your services are requested as well. You know what? It's all good. I must work here? <gasps> As a mercenary? 
As a servant. Put that as a servant. Nothing like that. They want you to teach, by the sound of it. You heard those brats earlier talking cool. about the officer's academy, right? Well, the academy just happens to be short a professor. And apparently that damned Alois went and recommended you to Lady Rhea. Like, what, what shows that I'm qualified to be a professor? So, like, you honestly. you must be the new professor. My, how stern and handsome you are. Whoa, calm uh, down. No, <laughs> I'm not the one you're looking for. Calm down. You can handle things from here. Good luck. <laughs> No, Jerry, come back. Watch out for Lady Rhea. I don't know what she's thinking, making you a professor like this. She may be up to something. Told Stay ya. on your guard. Told ya. Told ya. Oh, it's you then? Trust so no one. So young. Competence and age are not necessarily correlated, as you well know. Yeah. I am Hanneman, a Crest Scholar and Professor at the Officer's Academy. I wonder if you bear a crest of your own. When next you have a moment to spare, I insist that you pay me a visit so we can delve into the subject further. I'm Manuela. Hmm. I'm a professor, a physician, a songstress, and available. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> Whoa. Available. Whoa. You're a physician? You're a songstress? We'll do that one. Of course. Before I came here, I belonged to a renowned opera company. Cool. Perhaps you've heard of me? The Middle Frank Opera Company is beautiful, peerless. Spare our colleague the needless chatter, Manuela. Now then, it seems you'll be taking charge of one of the Academy's three houses. I expect you haven't yet been briefed on the nature of each, have you? Do you really not know? Fine, I'll do you a favor and explain. The Officer's Academy is comprised of three houses of students each of which is closely affiliated with its region of origin. The Black Eagle House is for students from the Adrestian Empire. Their house leader this year is Edelgard, the Imperial Princess, who is in line to be the next Emperor. Cool. The Blue Lion House is for students from the Holy Kingdom of Fargus. Their house leader this year is Prince Dimitri. He is to be the next King of Fargus. Lastly, there is the Golden Deer House, which is for yep. students of the Leicester Alliance. Their house leader is Claude, grandson to Duke Regan, the leader of the Alliance. To think that the next Emperor, King, and Sovereign Duke are all here. I know, it pretty certainly weird. is a promising year for the Academy. <laughs> it's one way I say, it. I just hope none of those little treasures cause any trouble. Hmm, quite. For now... I suggest taking a stroll around the academy to get your bearings. And when you've a moment, please stop by my research laboratory. Nice. So, again, I feel like this would have been a perfect spot to have you choose, but. The old man it's fine. has a point. It's fine. Oh, and keep in mind that I've only notified the house leaders that you're our new professor. It's more fun that way. It's more fun that way? I don't know if it really is. But. Okay, one thing I do think it'll be good since it is so early on is um, replay value so that you don't have to get through a bunch of like beginning stuff to make your choice. You know, that's the only way I see I where it makes sense. I suggest you try spending time with the students. Some odd ducks in that bunch, but they're good kids. <laughs> Some odd ducks, wow. I'm sure wow. Lady Rhea will have more information for you tomorrow, but that should get you going. Good luck. You'll need it. Oh, man. Have you no intention of changing your mind, Rhea? Appointing a stranger, a child no less, as a professor at our esteemed academy is... Yeah. I have yeah. made my decision, Sedith. I know worrying comes naturally to you, but there is truly no need. That stranger is Geralt's flesh and blood, after all. I can't say that's all too comforting. How trustworthy is this Geralt character? Is he not the man who went missing after the Great Fire 21 years ago? The Great Fire. I would remind you that Flane is now here with us as well. I beg of you, please consider whether this is an unnecessary risk. Sadith, they have my trust. Let that be enough for you as well. More importantly, I have received a report from Shamir. 
I am increasingly concerned about a matter regarding our suspicious individual. We cannot ignore hmm. those who harbor ill will toward the church, especially if they are frequenting Garrick Mock. Yes, that matter is of great importance as well. I shall continue my investigation. Hmm. Rhea, for now I will have faith that you are placing your trust with the utmost care. I pray that nothing occurs to shake that confidence. Hmm. So, so far, it looks like there's a possibly inside problem possibly going to happen. But I don't believe Setith. One, he's doing his job. Two, it's really dumb <laughs> to, like, have me be a professor and everything. So, I don't believe him. But, you know, here we are pumped oh yeah i will make it clear Ooh. i'm reading books i like books i feel like it would have been better if i had like a costume change in the sense like i was wearing something else before and then i got more of like a uniform type deal and that was my main clothing. That would have been cool. Okay. I do like that when we see a cutscene like shown to us early on before the game, that we see a, like about all of the cutscenes cut early on in the game, because then we get all the stuff that we already seen out of the way, and so it's all new. So I am pumped for that. Let's sleep head. And uh, I do, I have seen some of the characters of the out, other houses, but I have stayed blind to the characters on the Golden Deer. So, yeah, you know, I, I tried my best to be blind, but we'll, we'll have to see. back here to her line uh, I thought they said for me to go go around and talk to people let me do that let me explore well explore in the monastery right stick camera okay yeah move around if you are ever unsure what to do next look to the left side of the screen your current objective will be displayed there okay except there were ooh 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 we are in it Oh man, we can talk to people already. I don't even need to talk to her. That's the main quest. Ha ha! Freedom! Oh man. So they're just talking already. Ha! I imagine you were a bit surprised that I recommended you as a professor here. I am. Frankly, we had someone else in mind for the role, but they ran off during our dust up with the bandits. Can't entrust <laughs> students to someone who's abandoned them once before, huh? You saved wow. the lives of the students you came across. That, at least, was admirable. Now, you should make the rounds. Go around the monastery and see that you greet everyone. Was that it? Is that not our, like, side quest? Well, let's actually talk to her. Let's, let's see what's up. I First assume task. you are already aware that you will be teaching here at the Officers Academy, correct? To start, yep. please speak with the three house leaders. You should also take a look around the academy and acquaint yourself with your new home. That is your first task here at the monastery. Please let me know if you accept it. Once you have finished, come and speak with me. All right. Accept the quest. May so I ask a favor of you? Ooh, we have sword. We get stuff out of it. All right. Do you say anything? No. Okay. Let's... Nice. Quests are tasks given to you by people around the monastery. Those who can give or are involved with quests will all will have icons by them. Consult the quest menu to see the quests you have accepted. The icons beside each quest indicates their status. Icons for essential quests are red. Cool. Let's roam. Can I run? Ooh, I can run. I can sprint. Don't need no running shoes here, boys. Yeah, we got nothing. 
We got nothing here. The one from my, my my mind instantly went to a uh, persona, just because so much of this game. Ha Ooh, how do we? Okay, we click on that. So much of this like monastery aspect has been pointed to Persona Five, which I'm all for, just because I love that game. So that's why I would instantly go into like the eagle-like type deal of seeing items. But we won't have that problem. The main map in the upper right corner of the screen. Yeah. Okay. So we could change the degree of what we're looking at. Okay, we got n people who are just randos. Oh, okay. We're in the reception hall. Cool. Here's our first target. Is that a teacher? Or just some random chick? No. Okay. Actually, the best. Totally. Lorenz is a true noble. Lynn Hart always seems laid back. Okay. I bet I could take Casper in a fight. Bernadette Detta is always in her room. So, okay. I know I've seen a tiny bit where it's like, if you're going to be wanting to uh, match up people or grow in like supports and whatnot, like you have to actually really work and like knowing the people, which is really so cool. So, you've accepted a teaching position here. Pity. I was hoping you would lend your strength to the Empire. I never properly introduced myself, did I? My name is Edelgard von Hressbach. I am the princess and heir apparent of the Adrestian Empire. I wonder if you'll be tasked with leading the Black Eagles. I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Would you like to know more about any of the Black Eagles? Nope. Nope. I don't care for that stuff. <laughs> Wait, don't tell me I have to. Because there's still that thing about it. So okay. You've I never prop. I am the. I wonder. If I hope you've had a chance to meet everyone. Let's do it. Okay. So we get. We can beat the people from here. Check Casper. He's the second son of Count Bergley's. He has no inheritance in his future, which is perhaps why he's always so eager to prove himself. He's yeah. overly energetic and rushes headfirst into any battle. If he ends up in your care, be sure to keep a close eye on him. Cool. Can I leave this? Okay, I think that's left there. We can go talk to the others. Let's let's check our quest. Let's see what it says. Okay. I was seeing if it would show if we have done part of it. I wonder if we have to see. All right, we'll we'll see. We'll go talk to the others and see what happens. But that's gonna do us for today. Is there a save? There is. Ooh. 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 Okay, we saved. And uh, that's gonna do us for today. Next episode, we'll continue. We'll talk to Claude, we'll talk to Dimitri, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do this good old quest. Um, I'm getting the feeling that we technically haven't picked which house we're going to. Like, how they talk and everything really makes it sound like we haven't picked yet, but I feel like we have already. It's really weird, but we'll have to see. We'll just see uh, in the next episode. But take a scrub gaming and keep on scrubbing. I just wanna be the one you love. I just wanna be the one you love.